Hey, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be giving a review for the science fiction film, Can. Now this is a story about a young boy who finds a mysterious weapon and they don't give no explanation to what the weapon is, but apparently it is some kind of high-tech weapon, you know? Like, unlike anything of Earth, you know, basically, and that's spoiler alert territory right there, you know? But, um, that's basically what the film itself is about, this boy finding this weapon, you know, and he learns what it can do, and so on. Now, it does turn to be a pretty uh, exciting film, you know? I enjoyed it, you know? It was better than I thought it would actually be. Now, and this is also based on a, a 2014 short story, well, I mean, short film known as Bagman, which I have never heard of, you know? Now, it is uh, directed by, um... Jonathan Baker and Josh Baker, and you have uh, Miles Truett, Jack Raynor, Zoe Kravitz, Dennis Quaid, James Franco, and so on. You know, you also have uh, Michael B. Jordan who makes an appearance in the film too as well. Now, one of the things that was kind of odd about the film itself, you know, is I felt like you know, being that it's a science fiction film, it kind of does draw it away from the idea of uh, it being about a like, you know, dealing with science fiction and the weapon itself. It's, it's actually just focused on, like, uh, the drama, you know, the relationships between, like, the, uh, the boy known as, uh, I think, Miles, if I'm not mistaken. Not Miles, but, yeah, the boy known as Elijah. It's actually just focused on, on him, and he's actually, like, a young African-American kid, you know, who finds his weapon. But at the same time, it is also focused on this one kid, well, not kid, this young dude known as Jimmy. Now, they're both are the sons of uh, Dennis Quaid's character known as Hal. And Hal's actual true son is actually Jimmy. You know, he's played by uh, Jack Raynor. But the boy known as Elijah, he's actually adopted, you know, because how could they have an African-American, you know, <laughs> kid in their family? So he was actually adopted like years ago, you know, they talk about it throughout the film. So the film itself is actually focusing on that a lot. And I, the one thing kind of interesting about it is that Jack Raynor, who plays uh, Jimmy Solinsky, and Jimmy is actually uh, Dennis Quaid's uh, character's son, you know, he's actually like an ex-con, but, you know, he was like in jail. When the film actually opens, he actually just got out of jail, you know, so there's like some kind of like conflict thing going on there with him and his father, you know, like his father is saying to him that he's not going to be able to really get a good job because he has like, you know, this like, I think 10 year record of like having like felonies and all kind of stuff like that. So it's messing him up from being like, you know, being able to, being able to actually get like a good job, you know, so I think that's kind of interesting that they're doing that. But at the same time, you have like this science fiction element on the side about this kid who finds this like mysterious weapon, you know, that has like these powerful blasts that can blow up stuff. And I think even evaporate people, if I'm not mistaken, from what I'm seeing, you know. But overall, I thought this was a pretty entertaining film. I thought everybody played their characters pretty well. Now, Dennis Quaid's performance as a house on this case, it's not really that long, and I spoiler alert, you know, he's not really in the film too much. He's only kind of at kind of the beginning of the film. It's almost like a cameo, but it's actually, it's, he's there, you know, but it's not really too long, you know. The film itself is really actually focused on Elijah and Jimmy, you know, and Elijah's the African-American boy who really finds the weapon, you know. Now you have James Franco, he plays uh, Taylor, and Taylor is actually the antagonist of the film. He's a crime lord and actually like, the main villain of the film. And he's like ruthless and cold-hearted. He'll shoot you in the minute, you know. So I was surprised at his performance. You know, the character is very evil, you know. <laughs> the way James Franco plays him, you know. And you also have uh, Zoe Kravitz as uh, Millie. And she's a stripper looking for her way, a way out of the, I guess, the stripping business, you know. But I thought this was a pretty entertaining film, you know. Like I say, one of the things that's kind of odd about it, like I say, it kind of strays away from it being like focusing on this this science, this high tech weapon, you know. It seems like if you're not careful, you think it's just like a drama film, you know, about like some like convicts or something like that on the run or something like that. You would think it's like some big science fiction film in the ears, you know, because it's also like other things about the film that I want to touch on, but it kind of spoils, you know, and you kind of give away what the film was about, you know, what was going on, you know. But yeah, I enjoyed it, you know, so that's my review, uh, review for Ken, you know. I'm giving this a, a B minus, and like I said, I enjoyed it more than I thought, you know. And I would definitely recommend it for fans of these kind of films, you know. And it did, you could tell they're leaving this open, and I know it didn't do too good at the box office, you know. But there's room for this to have like a sequel or so on, you can actually carry on more. And, and it was actually based on a short film known as Bagman, so I'm only surprised they do that, you know. But yeah, I'm giving Ken, I'm giving this a B minus. Please leave a comment and subscribe too as well.